Samsung has added a new security feature, One UI 8 to help protect Galaxy smartphone users from a growing scam known as voice phishing. This scam happens when someone calls you and pretends to be a person or organization you trust these days. It's even more dangerous because scammers can use AI to copy a person's voice in real time. With just a short recording, they can make it sound like your friend or family member is talking to you. This trick can convince people to share personal details, send money, or fall into other traps. The new feature is called voice phishing, suspected call alert. Its goal is to warn you before you fall victim to these scams. For now, it's only available in South Korea for Galaxy phones running one UI 8.0, but it's an important step in protecting smartphone users everywhere. Here's how it works. If you call a number that's not saved in your contacts, the system uses AI to check for signs of voice phishing. If it detects anything suspicious, you'll get an alert before the call connects. The alert comes with a message on your screen, a sound, and a vibration. This early warning gives you the chance to hang up before you even start talking. The AI powering this feature is trained using data from the National Police Agency and the National Institute of Scientific Investigation in South Korea. It looks for patterns linked to scams and flags them instantly. A big plus is that all of this happens directly on your phone. The audio from your calls is not sent to Samsung's servers or the cloud, so your privacy is safe. If you have a Galaxy phone with one UI 8 in South Korea, Turning on the feature is easy. Just open the phone app, tap the three-dot menu in the top right corner, go to settings, find voice phishing suspected call alert, and switch it on. After that, it will work automatically for calls you make to numbers not saved in your contacts. Right now, this feature only works for outgoing calls, not incoming ones. That's a limitation, because many scams start with the scammer calling you. If Samsung adds incoming call protection in the future, it would make this tool even more powerful. Even with its current limits, this feature is a smart move. Voice phishing has become harder to detect because AI voice cloning sounds so real. Imagine getting a call from someone who sounds exactly like your brother asking for urgent help. In the heat of the moment, you might give away information or send money. This tool aims to stop that from happening in the first place. Another great thing is that it works without an internet connection and doesn't send your voice data anywhere. Processing everything on the device means better security and less risk of leaks. That's important because phone calls often involve private and sensitive conversations. Samsung hasn't announced when this feature will launch outside South Korea, but with phone scams and AI-powered fraud on the rise worldwide, there's a strong chance users everywhere will want it soon. Expanding it globally could help millions of Galaxy owners stay safe while making calls. For now, only South Korean users can use it, but the rest of us can still learn from it. Be cautious when dealing with unknown phone numbers. If someone calls you and creates a sense of urgency, pause and think before sharing personal information. Scammers often try to rush you into making decisions without thinking. The launch of voice phishing suspected call Alert shows that Samsung understands the danger of AI scams and is finding ways to fight back. Technology like AI can be used by scammers, but it can also be used to protect us. One UI 8 is more than just visual updates or customization options. It's about security too. As scams get more advanced, built-in tools like this can be just as important as having a good camera or fast performance. If Samsung brings this feature to more countries and makes it work for incoming calls, it could become a standard defense against one of the most dangerous scams today. For now, it's a valuable extra layer of protection for South Korean Galaxy users, and hopefully, the rest of the world won't have to wait too long to get it.